Welcome to Matza Boys! Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Matza Boys, everybody. So we, um, we didn't really know what we could talk about for this uh, podcast. We had nothing planned. Yeah, we didn't have, we didn't plan anything, nothing uh, crazy happened since the last podcast. Um, we didn't even bring up anything last podcast that we wanted to talk about this podcast. Yeah. Um, well, there was that one thing. That one little thing. The one, yeah, yeah the tiny, yeah, the little, little detail thing. that we brought up right in the beginning. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, three, two, two, one. Nikki, Nikki got, got engaged. engaged, and she said yes. Yeah, she sure did. That's like the beginning of Two and a Half Men. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you yeah, calling yeah, me yeah. half a man? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, wasn't that weird? Towards the end of the show, they like aged him up at the end. Never mind. Um, I didn't watch. I think he just grew. Yeah, but like, they wanted to be like, this kid is now a teenager, like, so that you're not watching the show and see the kid, and then all of a sudden he's like 16 in the show. Anyway, Nikki, you wanna... <laughs> we count to I us. digress. We've been t- talking about Two and a Half Men for about 30 <laughs> seconds, and it's been about 28 <laughs> seconds too long. Ah, uh, that show left us way too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Please re- <laughs> <laughs> More sheen, more sheen. More sheen. Oh, Tell us, Nikki. What? Where did this take place? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. What state? A state. <sighs> can I just, can I just say love. the characters? The yeah. characters in the story are. What me, a cast. Nikki, right? The two of us. Drew, we'll talk about our trip to Key West in a little time. Uh huh. Okay, so now that we know <laughs> that it took place in Key West. Yeah. Um, the characters of the story are Nikki and I, and we have Felicia. And we have Big Debra. So tell us. Okay. Well, S- tell me and the audience. Yeah. Okay. So. No, tell, no, tell me <laughs> what happened. <laughs> um. You proposed. She said yes. Oh, you said that's keep it. Uh, so, so, keep it short. Okay, keep off it camera, short. you said keep it in five minutes. I said try to keep. I can do it in two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah try two to minutes. Condense it. Go. Yeah, two okay. minutes. Uh, I remember I uh, picked you up in the morning for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Sure oh, did. What, we, what did you guys have for breakfast? Oh, so he got a breakfast burrito. <laughs> oh, I had a breakfast burrito, made it work, and the guy at work was like, I'm gonna hook you up. I was like, yes, please. Yeah. And he hooked me up. <laughs> I ate that breakfast burrito probably, like, Nikki watched me eat it, and it took me 10 to 15 seconds, and it was not, it was like a Chipotle burrito. Now, what kind of breakfast burrito do you We did <laughs> breakfast already. Oh, we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was last week. Okay. But just egg and cheese, a lot of vegetables, spicy, maybe it some potatoes good. or not, whatever. I like okay. it grilled, toasted, all warm. I think my favorite food might just be a breakfast burrito now. Oh, okay. Because it surpassed... So that was um, not your favorite breakfast. It's not my favorite breakfast, but it's my favorite... Breakfast food. Food. No, food. Oh, just food. Yeah, food. food, yeah. Like, if you gave me a breakfast burrito now... You'll huh, eat it. And it's not, bre- it's not breakfast time, by any stretch of the imagine. Well, whenever they're watching. Yeah. So... We got in the car, and, yeah. Uh, Chris and I, uh-huh. and uh, it still he's smell like, like rain. Okay. No, and then no point did it ever smell like rain. Oh, <laughs> so, so we got in the car, and uh, he's like, "I got my bags packed," and I'm like, "Well, that might not even be an issue. Don't worry, because we were supposed to leave at the crack of dawn." But you know, women we take a little extra time sometimes. That's misogynist, but okay. Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> So, um, so we got in the car and we headed uh-huh. to, to, <laughs> so we got in the car. <laughs> Wait, we're going to move past that noise. Get in the car. Yeah. And then we head to, um, patriarchy much. Okay. <laughs> what? We get in the car and we go There's to. Someone just, the, like a cannonball in the pool. <laughs> yeah, right you. Yeah. I saw movement and then I heard, so <laughs> loose. <laughs> We go to. I forgot, where we were... I forgot where we were heading. No, we were gonna go to to pick them up. Um, we got in the car. Yeah. And um, so Felicia was gonna drive the mm-hmm. first three hours, mm-hmm. and uh, I was 
the, uh, what do you call that, co-pilot, and, um, Chris and Big Deb, Chris and Big, Big Deb, Debbie, right? Big, oh, Big Deb, Deb would be in the back. Not Big Deb. Big I, mean, I got it mixed up. Shortened enough. And Big Debra and uh, Chris were in the back. Yeah. And so, easy sailing. Honestly. Would you no, say smooth sailing? No. Yeah. The okay, smoothest yeah. Oh, ever. so smooth. No stops. Not even for gas. Because one stop. One stop. <laughs> one stop yeah, shot. One stop. One, stop. one stop. one quick stop. Okay. Well, we saw the corgi poo. We did do one stop. What did we get? It was for bathroom? Yeah. One I, stop I for bathroom this for one minutes. person. The story? One, yes, one stop for bathroom. We didn't even get there yet. <laughs> no, he meant two minutes for me to tell the story. I know, yeah, I know. Sorry. I, know. Uh, I don't remember it because I, no, I didn't have to use bathroom. So we got there. It was actually, everything that happened actually went according to plan. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that. Everything went beautiful. We got there. We went to the uh, Hash Shell Raw Bar like we normally do for lunch. Jumbo. Bar, shrimp. Uh, buffalo shrimp. Buffalo shrimp. Buffalo shrimp. Yeah. Try it. Try it. It's very good. Very good. Um, I can't. I'm right. Allergic. Actually, you might be able to, I will say, because my uncle is also allergic to shellfish. Uh -huh. And he said that the kind of shrimp that they have there are a certain... Key West Pinks, they're called. And they are not... Uh, they are... They're made in the a poultry family. Oh, really? They are, they're like a... No, that's a poultry? lie, but... Oh. Not in the poultry family. <laughs> he said that they're they're like... I don't even want to make up jokes. <laughs> no, you know like some are like farmed, like farmed yeah, yeah, shrimp, yeah, yeah. and some are like... Yeah. Like outcasts, like with tattoos and uh -huh. like yeah, you ever have a shrimp with a tattoo? You ever seen one with a tattoo? I've seen them, yeah. These, oh, these yeah. are out like so they're not outcast shrimp. Hey uh, those are the ones you gotta be careful for. Those are real shellfish of a guys. Or gals. Yeah. The rough We're not massages. They're not roughnecks. Uh -huh. We're just no, masseuses. <laughs> the ones that are the, the real you know salt of the earth. shrimp. The okay. ones that they take Moving care on. of, those yeah. are the ones Buffalo that you eat. Okay. Delicious. Delicious. Good. They say, too spicy, you can't have it. Those are the ones that they didn't <laughs> don't want. Don't do the accents. <laughs> Maybe don't do that the accents. That was an accent. <clears throat> you heard that? It's kind of close, yeah. Uh, sorry, my throat. Yeah. I was choking. You could do the Dracula. You could do the Dracula. We started the episode off anytime because what? that, that wasn't Dracula. Uh, that I was doesn't just saying welcome. offend anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. So, um, so they didn't like the buffalo shrimp, but they got uh, something else instead. Yeah. So we um, moved from there. Said, "Let's go. We're gonna head to Let's to, go. to the uh, to the hotel we were staying at." We smooth sailing. Parked the car, went inside, got the room, put all our stuff down. I was like, how much time do you think, ladies, we need to get ready? They're like, I don't know, half an hour, hour. I was like, all right, in my head, great. Let's just, uh, maybe we can get a something by the pool, like a slushy or a drink, and then we can, from here, transition over to the next spot, which is where I knew what we were going to do. We were going to go down by the Mallory Square Sunset festival area they call it mm -hmm. and um, from there I, I was slowly feeding them the information when it was time I wasn't telling them everything right away mm -hmm. and then they knew after that we would be going to dinner somewhere so we did that's what we did so at um, at that time we had like an hour and a half so they started getting ready and I'm like it's kind of early but not really so I was like start getting ready so I finally started getting ready uh, it was time for the, us to like start leaving, and I'm like, uh, okay, you were almost ready. She's like, I'm putting on makeup, and I'm like, all right, you got 15 minutes to start leaving. We left at 6:30 at the exact time it was supposed to. We Good. got there. Mm -hmm. We started seeing the shows when we were there. Mm -hmm. I watched the time. My brother was doing the best, the best that possible that I was asking him to do. I was like, just watch them as we go from show to show. As I scouted out the out on the strip of where we were, there was uh, the three shows we still that we saw when we got there around seven seven thirty, yeah seven twenty three. What you would call good like I'm like a sheepdog. Yeah, I'm like I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, like yeah. I'm getting a little nervous at the time, but like I'm like it's good, we're good. And the thing is, it's so thankful that I've been there before, you know, from Key West, so I know the area. Mm -hmm. um, when I told you to condense the story you meant just for five minutes, <laughs> I meant like the whole weekend, not just the engagement story. Oh, I thought it was just the weekend, the engagement. Mm -mm. What, what else did we do other than the engagement? That's all I remember. 
<laughs> oh, okay. No, no. So you tell just the engagement. No, no, you guys can tell the rest. And then I'll tell the rest. Yeah, oh, no, he I'll, can't. I'll yeah, he'll tell the last day. Yeah. He was there? No. I'll I'll do mean, he can not tell any of it. He's just going <laughs> to react. When I'm you listening. tell the rest of the story, yeah. I'll just I'll just interject and I'll be right. like, I'll go like yeah, this yeah. when I want to add, like, do you remember that? And right. they'll be like, oh, yes. Mm-hmm. We'll do that. Because for me, the engagement was like yeah. the, yeah, the main that's thing. That's how it should be. Yeah. yeah that's because, you know, obviously, I'm going to remember and live with that part. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you see, saw it from my perspective, you know? Because oh, I did most of, like, mentally the planning. Right, like no, no, I, I barely remember my engagement. I was like, I, yeah. can't, I can't remember that day. So, I was looking around, didn't know where to pick. We saw the uh, one guy do, like, a tight tightrope walk kind of thing where he juggled. And then I looked and I was like, eh, over here, I don't know. But the thing you don't realize is when one show lets out, that whole group of, like, 20, 30 people starts migrating to the sunset. Exactly. Or to look for another show. Uh-huh. And all the people start walking around like like lemmings. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, now they're in my way. If I want to do some sort of proposal, yeah. they're all in my way. Yeah. So now, then I said, then we went over and I'm looking at the clock again, another 10 minutes. I said, okay. And then I knew the sunset around 8.15. Eventually, we watched the second show. Had a US, oh no, a guy who jumped through a hula hoop. And then, you know, she's like, oh, the show is there a little bit more. The entertainment is like kind of does a lot of building up to something that's just like. Was the cat guy there? I heard there was a key West I heard cat he just, guy. He just him. retired the cats. Oh. And he doesn't do the show anymore. He's old. He was old when I was little. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So when it came to time, I looked. It was about. The sunset was at 818. That's when the sun was going to be completely set. Mm-hmm. So. About eight ten, I look in the corner where they have like um, I don't know what it's called, but like where they tie up boats, but like it's like one of those big ones, those big round things that you would tie a tugboat to. It's mm-hmm. a good uh, dog. Name. And so, a dog. So I said, I said, I called Chris on the phone. I said, Chris, bring them over here. Tell, tell, Felicia. I said, tell the whole crew. Uh. Nice photo area for for the sunset. It's gonna be great, mm-hmm. as far as they know. Yeah. I said, um, I, I got the spot. He goes, okay, we're we're coming over, and I go, is this it? Is this the spot? I got a little like. Now obviously, Big Depper knew what was going. Yes. On. Yeah. Right. Although, she, what an actor she was. Oh, okay. Great. I mean, Good. she was like, okay, we'll go. Mm-hmm. We'll go take. Pictures. I even told her before we left the hotel. I was like. We're headed down now to the sunset area, and that's where it's gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to do it now. And she goes, oh, okay. I'm like, and then after that, she's like, cool. It's like, no reaction. So it's like, that's fine. Okay. So we get down there. Uh, so we about to take. We're about to take pictures. We about to take pictures. We about to take pictures. Yes, yeah, I don't know how wh- which words I should chop or out or which words I should cut in half. So um, you know, we're Chris is facing us right in front of the sunset right before. And yeah, I'm faking like I'm taking pictures. I was like, he's ooh, like, ooh. ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then meanwhile, Nikki just starts talking. Yeah, I put my arm like uh, like like I'm about to like pose for a picture, and I turn to her and I just give her some like. You know, sweet, words sweet of kisses. endearment, and I'm looking at her, and she's like, "Are you looking forward?" Kind of, and she she didn't say it yet, but I was like, "You know, we've been I've been like we've been together a while, like the things that you would say, kind of leading up to it." Uh-huh. But she's just like those things that you're just like, "Why this conversation now?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You know, like yeah, you yeah, made yeah. so many memories together. What if she was like, "Yeah, yeah, I know." She kind of did that. Oh. She's like, "Of course, of course, I understand." You know, she's like, "Of course, everything in its time." You know, things we gotta work on, of course, mm-hmm. but we're a work in progress. You know, we've talked about this so, so much before, mm-hmm. but why now? We're standing right here on the, on the, on the, uh, basically on the edge of the water <laughs> where people can push us off. On we're the about edge to of take the country. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 She's like, oh, please don't, please be careful. Yeah. Uh, she's like, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. She's like, and I'm like, okay. Boom. I right, reach in my pocket and I get down, and she's like, oh. Exactly. Literally covers her mouth. Yeah. Oh, and then she like back takes it, backs up for a second, covers her mouth, oh. and she's just like I. And it was just, like, it was beautiful. And then 
right after that, uh, you hear clapping. Mm -hmm. You had clapping. an audience. Yeah, she said. Mm -hmm. This was just another show. She said yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And then that was announced. What? To the audience? She said yes. She said yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, no, no. No, no they, they just saw it. Yeah. She said yes, and then all of a sudden, faintly in the back, in the in the distance, a boat saw what was going on. A boat saw it, and he hit his his little keypad, and you hear. Really? Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. so like I, I you have a video of that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, put it on we'll Patreon. We'll put it on the Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll yeah. put it on the Patreon. The full engagement video. Yeah. Or a part of it. <sighs> okay. Now, can I tell the rest of the trip from my perspective? So after that, okay. um, what happened was we went to dinner. How long uh, is this five minute story? This is uh, 16 minutes. Yeah. So. Wow. Okay. Just want to say after dinner, we let them know that we just got engaged. The guy said pie. And I said, what? And he said, I said nothing. What? I said, I, I let her. He goes, no, I don't know. I go, oh, okay. Uh, we went down. We, we sat down. Pie? He, yeah. I clearly heard the man say pie. Who? Mm -hmm. What man? The so guy, the kid who sat us. Oh. He was like 18. The maitre d'? No, the, ma the, the maitre boy. Maitre boy. And I think he was, something was wrong with him. And then so when we sat down, I was like, oh, I think he maybe like wrote down in the notes he was going to give us pie or something. And then we proceeded to have the weirdest, worst dinner I've had in a month. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, then they didn't get pie. Well, no one acknowledged that we, you know, we said that we were that we got engaged but no one acknowledged it and our food was like took us about an hour to get our dinner but I'll just say that about that I don't you, wanna... you just told the kid that you told the them kid? at the yes at the front you only told him though correct but what about you know, the server why should we have to alright well, it, it wasn't it wasn't a we, we didn't go to a Flanagan's uh huh it was we like, went to an upscale it was restaurant. like a nicer restaurant yeah but you just told the 18 year old well I thought he was he's like the host He's a host. Like you a hostess? Our host? Our problem is we, we work at an upscale. Yeah. Uh, you would think. Yeah. When you go to a place. Mm-hmm. Tag, tag team. Okay. So, um... Chris, so, can you tell this in five minutes? Go for no. it. No. <laughs> no. Here's a story from my perspective. <laughs> Nikki picks me up from, from work. From your perspective, she said no. <laughs> Whoa! No, she still said yes. <laughs> Um, so the story goes from Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday. Uh-huh. Well, we got home. And this all happened on a Sunday. Sunday, the Saturday night, I worked overnight. Saturday night, night, Saturday night, I packed. I packed so good, and I made sure I packed everything right, and I knew from work that we were leaving, so I packed everything in my bag, and I was ready. And Nikki picked me up Sunday morning from work, and I go, okay, I'm ready. I have all my stuff packed. He goes, well, champ, uh, just wait a little bit, because they're not even, I mean... They're not even off of work yet. I was mm -hmm. like, okay. So then I, you know, I came home, I had my burrito. And then I was like, you know what? Let me switch out right in my bag. So it actually did make sense. It wasn't that bad. So I switched all my stuff around. Mm -hmm. um, then we were finally ready to leave. And I asked Felicia, I was like, do you have like a neck pillow? Because I plan on sleeping the entire trip. I haven't slept. I worked all night. So I get this neck pillow. I put it around my neck. And then come to find out Big Deborah slept, uh, worked all night as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so I felt bad. Okay. So I was like, I'm gonna sleep. I go, but I'm sure you're gonna sleep too. I didn't say that, but I said it in my head. So I was like, Deborah, would you like the neck pillow? And she's like, Yeah. <laughs> so she got it. She put it on, and then I begin to fall asleep with my little neck <laughs> like this, like a little slinky dog. Mm -hmm. And then every bump in the road was like, <laughs> and I was like waking up, and I looked, and <laughs> Deborah was just like awake up, like, not asleep, just fully awake and like this, but with the neck pillow, like, not touching her head. Like, she was just up and, like, looking around, and I was like, you don't need it! <laughs> but I can't ask for it back, you know? I already gave it to her. I thought you were going to say that she was, you, you, you woke up to her sleeping across your lap. No. Like, See, that would, have, that would have made more sense. I would have enjoyed that. Not enjoyed it, but I would have been like... Episode four. I would have been like, yeah, callback. Yeah. I would have been like, aw, she's all tuckered out. Mm -hmm. But no, she was just like, like an you know how an owl can move its head without yes. moving its whole body? That's what it was Same. like. I love it. Yeah. But with the neck pillow. Okay. She, like the neck pillow wasn't moving, but she was just looking around like fully awake. <laughs> 
And I was like, I want, the, I want it back. <laughs> like, if you're not going to use it, yeah. give it. Okay. So that's why I know we stopped. Because we stopped and she was like, she took it off to go into the gas station. And I went, and I put it on and I slept like a little baby for the rest of the trip. Uh, then there was a popcorn bag that was about the size of a human. <laughs> uh, so this popcorn bag probably... Fun fact, we purchased that for Nick. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and we only got about halfway to through it. Mm, oh. We're about three quarters now because I was washing something and eating something now. Oh, yeah, last you. night. <laughs> I'm trying to work my way through my big popcorn bag. Yeah, I use a... <laughs> Never mind. So, so I'm eating popcorn very carefully because I know Nick likes to keep his car very clean and Big Deborah is, <laughs> what, except for when he dumps water into it yeah. on the sunroof. <laughs> uh, and I'm like trying to eat popcorn like, you know, I'll have like, nicely. And I see Big Deborah go in with a handful and every time she gets a handful, two to three <laughs> fall off from either side. And not back into the bag, like yeah. onto the seat, uh -huh. and then she proceeds to eat it like the Cookie Monster, <laughs> like. And so then, far, uh, your your recounting of Key West sounds like an attack on Big Debra. It well, yeah. Well, <laughs> again, everybody gets everybody gets their licks in. Okay. Well, that I was in the back with Big Debra, okay. so that's yeah. what I'm witnessing. Yeah. So far. But it's all funny. I'm just aggravated. Driver's side or passenger side? You're Driver's right. side. Okay. I'm behind. Who was driving? Felicia. Felicia. Okay. And then they switched. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So then we get to to keys. the keys, and uh, the keys. I gotta be honest. Uh, yeah, everything went smoothly. We get to we get to half shell, and it's all nice. It's great. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We order buffalo shrimp, and uh, I was like, this is great. Nikki's like, this is great. Big Debra's like, that sounds great. She gets it. She's like, this is terrible. She's like, I cannot say oh. how terrible this is enough. The Buffalo Shrimp? Yeah. yeah. So she, she her, ordered the same thing as us. That's so what her and forgot. Felicia, yeah. Felicia goes, I don't like Buffalo Shrimp. Smart girl. She does like shrimp, though. That's, that's why she ordered it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then they just split uh, some egg rolls. And we, we cannibalize Big Debra's Buffalo Shrimp. Go back to the hotel. Go to Mallory Square. Goes, the engagement goes off without a hitch. No pun intended. Ah, oh, I didn't even catch it. Yeah. Oh, I'm slow. It's okay. <laughs> you get it? With getting hitched means... Yeah. yeah. And then, like, without a hitch, as in, like, on... on Doesn't, yeah, well, yeah. Just the, without a hitch, yeah, the marriage is getting hitched. You saw the movie? Uh, hitch? No. No? No. I actually did see it. Yeah, I won't see that because I don't want to get hit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now that you've said you haven't seen it, he's gonna come and hit you. Okay. <laughs> um, one, way to, a, one way to not get hit? Yeah. Watch Down to Earth. <laughs> um, so then... Oh! How about the next day? Yeah. Then we go to, we go to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, weird oh. service. Ooh. I wouldn't say bad, but just weird. It took a long time. Mm -hmm. A lot of people uh, on there? Oh, no. No, no, that's why. Surprising, that, was, uh, that surprised me why we were like, why is yeah. it taking so long? Yeah. yeah. They're trying um, to go home. I, I think they closed the kitchen. And then they're like, wait, another another group? Yeah. Uh, we got to turn all the uh, ovens back on. I think Big, De Big Deborah orders shrimp. Hates it. Hmm. Has to tell the waiter. Okay. Cannot not tell the waiter. Anyway. <laughs> what did she say? So no shrimp in Key West for her. No, no shrimp for her in Key West. She said... She, yeah, she was determined to tell this joke, right? To this day, I still don't understand. <laughs> she goes, this tastes like shrimp without the S-H-R. And I go, imp. She goes, this is imp. Hold, that's the whole joke. And then she has to tell the waiter that joke. And then even the waiter looks at me like, ha yeah, imp. Without the S-H-R. Is it missing something, I guess? And it tastes like an imp. <laughs> to me, an imp is like a dwarf. Like a, like, a, like, a, like a demon or something? Like a <laughs> magical... Is that like what it demon? is? Like, like a, a magical like a, being? Like a magic... Yeah, like some sort of little creature? I believe that's what it is. Like a... Like a little... Like a, like a, oh, wow! It's a a small, mischievous devil or sprite. So, so it's either a devil or the soda that does not sponsor us. Mm -hmm. 
Gross. Right. Yeah. You're no fresca. Yeah. So, so she then, said that that's what she was eating? She, yeah. And she was eating a little mischievous devil. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Which is weird because the name of the restaurant was Blue Heaven. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Angels and Demons. Yeah. Over here. Did you see that movie? I did not. I, I did not. Know. Know. I am a big fan of Tom Hanks. Yeah, he's but, good. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, so we send her home in a lift and then we go out and we just tear up the town. Yeah. We have ourselves a proper night. This is great. We're home by two in the morning. Uh huh. Go to sleep. Next morning we wake up. <laughs> two, two in the afternoon or uh, twelve. Twelve. Twelve in the afternoon. Oh we wake boy. Up. Which is crazy because we have to be at the jet skis at two thirty. Uh -huh. And because we didn't take the uh, exam online, we have to take a jet ski exam. And they're like, you really should be there at least an hour before. Keep going. You have to be there an hour. Keep before. going. You have to be there an hour before. And then half an hour to get fitted. So, like, if the jet skis were at 2, what is it, 2.30? Or yeah. What? We needed to be there at 2, one. and then 1. 1 o'clock was 1 to 2, and then 2.30 to get fitted. And then when we got there, what, it, what was the protocol for? Is it a boating license? Mm -hmm. Did you get that made for the jet skis? <laughs> well, I took the... And they sent it in the exam, and then they sent this to me. Well, we got yeah. a temporary. We got a fuzz on the. Well, then you got to fuzz well, that out now. Here's <laughs> what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll fuzz it <laughs> out. Just kidding. Uh, so then everybody's like, "Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do?" I would not have late. to get there an hour early. No, you would not. Uh, uh, Twenty minutes early, they said. Twenty minutes. Yeah, so now we're rushing. Then it's like, who's taking the test? So only one of us has to take the test, and it's me, Nikki, and Felicia, and we're like, ooh, 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 ooh. and I was like. No more waiting. I'll just take it, whatever. Uh huh. Well, guess why only one of us has to take it? Big Deborah gets grand grandmothered in because she was born before '87. Oh. Big Fel Felicia got to use Big Deborah as her excuse. As her, uh, what do you call it? Token rider. Yeah. So she got to use her. Big Deb had to. And between the two so. of us. No, it didn't matter. Just because one of them was on it. It's oh. Okay. And it was a catch wow. twenty-two because. Yeah. She, Big Deborah can't drive. They said because she didn't have her uh, ID on her. Oh. Because she doesn't drive in general. Uh huh. So they're like, she is her. The reason she she can drive, Felicia, but she cannot drive. <gasps> I just realized that halfway through, and, and then she immediately got off. Beside the point. Beside the point. <laughs> so either me or Nikki oh, had so to take was, the test. This was with no uh, uh, tour guide. Or no. This is with yeah, a tour guide. Oh, tour guide, guide. So I took the exam. Yeah, and you pass. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. I pass. By the grace of God, I pass. With flying black and whites. Yeah. <laughs> well, with flying monochromatics, uh -huh. well, I pass. Um. Yes. I go. How many did I get wrong? The, the girl. Know. She's like what? Twelve-year-old girl. <laughs> Or she's like, she was like 20, but she was like 20 year old. I go, how many did I get wrong? She goes, six. I go, out of 25. How many did I get wrong? Six. I go, how many am I allowed to get wrong? She goes, six. I go, oh, okay, great. So now we're set. And she goes, you are too late to get on jet skis. <laughs> like, it's too late. She goes, but we have an opening at 3.30, about a mile away. So we don't say it's a mile. We tell Big Deborah, we're just going to walk. We're going to go. Let's just walk. So we walk. We know it's kind of far, but we can walk it. So we walk with Big Deborah over to the other jet ski location. Mm -hmm. Where in time, Big Deborah's like, bagel cream cheese me. Now, I need a bagel and cream cheese. So we get our bagel and cream cheese from like a place that, did they, did they sell a bagel and cream cheese? Was it with, yes. Yeah. It was like a... Was it with olive cream cheese? No. It was, a, it was a, because these were rental... Jet skis. Yeah. It was a parasailing, jet oh, skis, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything you want to do. Okay. Ginormous carnival mm. cruise ship in front of us, mm. and all these little shops. So it was mm. like a homemade uh, Starbucks. Mm -hmm. I paid for a cup of uh, americano and a banana for eight ninety five. Oh my gosh. So it was like a, and I made friends with the, the two young ladies who were running the coffee shop when I first got there. I was like, did they give you a deal? Nope. Not at all. But I was like, hi, how's it going? I'm, I, we don't know where to park when we first got there because it's kind of like a road where you just drive in and you have to use the um, 
parking, parking structure, structure to, to park. And I was like, hi, I'm looking for the rentals. Where do I go? They're like, oh, it's right over there. You got to find parking and then it's, you can just go there. I go, thank you so much. And I told them where to park. And I was like, so then later when they were doing, Chris was thankfully doing the test for one of us. I was like, let me just get Chris coffee so that he can feel like starting to wake up because we just woke up at noon. Yeah. I was, so I was like getting him the coffee. I was like, hi again. It's me. Just making friends. I was like, do you guys have coffee? We don't really do uh, decaf. <laughs> we don't, we don't do coffee. coffee. Exactly. They're like, we have an espresso machine. We, we have uh, bean water, which is like coffee. It's actually Basically, coffee. Basically, I was like, uh -huh. well, can you do do Americano for me, please? Make it. Can you make that work? Uh huh. So anyway. So we got the bagel and cream cheese. They had that. So we walk on over to the other jet ski site. And then they're like, all right, good. Yeah. By the way, we had left everything in the car. Because we're like, we're not taking our wallet, she our never phone. Ate Jim, she's like, I can't yeah. walk and eat either, Big Deborah. She's like... I have to sit down and just and, and eat. But every time she sat down, she never ate. That's she just sat down and looked at the go. water. So it's like, when are you going to eat? And then eventually they're like, oh, okay. So we got, we got over there. They started like saying, we started processing the paperwork. And then she took out her food and started to like yeah. nibble at it. Yeah. But that's, so we get on the jet skis. No, no, no. Before we get on the jet skis, we had left everything in the car. Mm -hmm. And we're like a mile away. Mm -hmm. and, and then we talked to the guy at the thing and he's like, Oh, we have cubbies for you. Like you could leave everything here. <laughs> but not at the other one. I'm like, I like only that. have my license. <laughs> like, I only have my license, so that if they find my body in the water, <laughs> you know who I am. Uh, so we get on the jet skis. I let Nick drive because it's his big weekend, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I never drove a jet ski before. And they're like, you guys can. No, switch. but he rode on one. He did I ride did. on the back of one. I on did. the back of one. He was holding on the like back this. Of one. This was different than that. You couldn't. It wasn't like a holding one. This one. What was, do you mean? There's a body. This one was. Sorry. This was one where like I, if I was sitting on the back, I held on my sides. Like there was. Yeah, but you could hold huh. on your body. What do you mean? What it, do you mean? it was like more spacious. I, I liked Nick holding on to me. Yeah. See, I it was a more intimate on. jet ski. Ride. You couldn't hold on to me. <sighs> Those are called broskis, not jet skis. We're what? referencing my bachelor, bachelor party. Didn't we write this in the bachelor party? <laughs> oh, Later, kidding. yeah. That night. Oh, and not jet skiing. Oh. <laughs> so then we're, we get in the jet skis. Um, okay, so here's where, here's where I started to turn for me. Where I was like, I need a Xanax <laughs> for the rest oh, of this trip. Because... Uh, Twice. I'm waiting for Nikki to like get the hang hang of it, and he did eventually. <laughs> uh -huh. But like you know, like when you're in control of a car, you know yes. when you're gonna stop. Uh -huh. You know when you're gonna <laughs> yeah. go. Yeah. You like you know when like you're gonna turn. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Nikki's in control, so he kind of and he's got like stabilized, like he's mm -hmm. like sitting on it like a motorcycle. I'm just sitting straight up, holding the sides. So like when he goes. I almost go back, and when he stops, my forehead hits the back of his life jacket. And when he's going side to side, I'm shaking. I'm like, yee, yee, He's supposed yee. to work with me. He's supposed to lean And I'm me. like, yeah, I did eventually. Okay. But in the beginning, I felt like a slinky dog. And I was like, uh, if I don't have, like, abs under this fat by the time... Yeah. yeah. So we're doing fine. Do you catch air? What do you mean? Like, over the wave? No, not really. No? How fast do you go? Yeah. 35? 40? 35? That's it? It doesn't go that fast. Well, we, we were up to 60. We were a lot of yeah, weight. But we were... <laughs> we, were, we were a heavy jet ski. Okay. So many, the guy many? looked at us and was like, you guys want to go fast. And we were like, we don't really, like, we're not like fast <laughs> guys. Our, our thing went yeah. with like about 40. Yeah. So then uh, we, were, we go, <laughs> we go for what we think is like forever, mm -hmm. right? And the guy goes, okay, you know, everybody stop, regroup. We all regroup. He goes, that was about a mile. We're like, oh, wow. He goes, that was just to warm up. <laughs> Me and the click each other. We're like, nice. Like, that was nice. nice. And he goes, we're going to do about 10 miles now. And I was like, really? Good gracious. It was an hour and a half. Hour and a half tour, right? He only showed us two things. Uh -huh. So he was that, like, this was not a tour, dude. It was like I a, wish it was a tour. This was like a free for all. Yeah, it was like, like oh, that sounds fun. Test out your that skills. Fun. Yeah. It was just no. like, test your skills on the open seas and maybe we'll find you open later. Open seas. So now yeah, we're right. so now we're like Wee! on the jet ski and then we get lost Dust. like almost immediately and then Nikki's like 
Do you see them? And I'm like, I only see the back of your head. Do you see anybody, please? And then he doesn't tell me like when he's gonna start going again. Because <laughs> he's like, do you see them? I was like, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. He's like, what do we do? I was like, I'm behind you, man. I go, just go in a direction. Because they're doing turns like S's, but like big S's. So like after a while, like if you're not you following exactly screen? behind them. It's like, I, I go, don't see the white foam. I was like, just cut across. And he's like, why? Is that a boat? Is that one of our <laughs> so jet we don't, skis? Yeah, we don't know if we're seeing boats, jet skis, we have no idea. And I'm mm -hmm. like getting like... Like, if I'm not in control, first yeah, of all, I'm all I'm already like... Angst-ish. Angsty. Because yeah, I assume that the person ahead of me has some kind of control in the situation. And then when I hear the captain look back and go, well, What do we do? <laughs> Hang on, let me go get my brown pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? So, anyway... That happens like three times. Uh -huh. We get completely lost from the group. Uh -huh. And then the last time, Ka Ka Felicia. Uh -huh. Felicia, we're gonna cut that right out. <laughs> Fe Felicia yeah. uh, goes in front of us and I go, Nick, follow her, that's Felicia. Mm -hmm. And he goes, are you sure? I go, no. no. I go, but it's someone, <laughs> so follow it. And I see, cause she has like red hair and I was like, it's her, it's her red hair, so mm -hmm. follow it. Follow whatever that may be. It's just a figure. Because it's a jet ski. Yeah. And it looks like one of ours. <laughs> Follow it. It's, it's driving like her. And the rest of the jet skis was nice. So after the jet skis, I'm for sure burnt. And I'm like, I need a drink now. Mm -hmm. I need a drink. I need oh. to cool off. And then as soon as that, what you said, after all the jet skis? No, I just meant after that 10 mile stretch, that he was like, so how are we doing? We stopped off at what they called Boca Chica Key. <laughs> just Boca Chica. Oh no, I just remember no, what happened. Boca Chica. Yeah, Boca Chica. We stopped there, and it was just like, "How are we doing?" And I was like, put my head "Everybody's down. like great." He goes, "Are we doing great?" I put my head down. and said, "Good, just good." <laughs> He's like, "We'll take a couple seconds here and just uh, look around." Yeah, we'll and, talk about the mangroves. And I'm like, "This is not. This is that." So basically, we were just doing S turns and zigzags, and I was like. What was going on back there? Like, he's like, we're just having fun. I go, oh, that's fun. Can we just go straight for 10 miles? Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted, but I guess like we were trying to get the most out of the trip. Yeah. But then the rest, from the 10 miles back, we it just... was it was very beautiful. Like, it was going from where that was, that nice, like, looking at that, I that little island area, all up the coast and looking at more of the mangroves all the way back. It's probably like another... Five miles. While you guys were jet skiing, yeah. did you consider yourselves island boys? We did. Mm -hmm. I did. Did we? I said that. I said, look at us, we're island boys. Mm -hmm. I did. I said that. And you're like, ah, yeah, well. At that point, I was over it. Yeah, was he was like, like I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I, uh, I, <laughs> well, I wanted to go home. I said, <laughs> after the first, like, 40 minutes, it was like an hour and a half. Was like, the first yeah, 40 was minutes, long. I was like, I'm yeah. done. Well, the reason why we didn't re recognize if it was a Felicia. <laughs> Ray! <laughs> so if it was Felicia or not was because Big Deborah was not on the jet ski. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when we left, Big Deborah was on the jet ski. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's something even funnier. In the very beginning, Big Deborah was like, I want to fa face the back. <laughs> and we're like, Big Deborah, you can't face backwards? Yeah. She's like, why not? I want to be able to see what's going on. I think she's trying to look for sharks or something. <laughs> and we're like, that's not how it works. Because the first thing that happens is she takes off and you go, bloop. <laughs> and so it's like, that's just not, you know how like, and she's like, I don't get it. And I'm like, you know what? Like, I, I don't get it. I'm like, you know when you're driving in a car, you tell the kids to sit forward and put yeah. on their seatbelts? It's like, that's why. Because kids are not supposed to face back and look out the back window. You're supposed to sit forward for safety. I was like, that's what you do. You just sit forward, you grab the bars, you sit, you grab the person in front of you. It's just what you do. She goes, yeah. mm, okay. Okay. So what yes. happened after that? After that, we uh, I got a drink. We went to the galley and got a drink. We had Very to get nice. butter slides. That was nice. Butter I was slides. like, I got to cool off. So I went and I swam. From the place. That might be your drink. <laughs> yeah. Where, where True. We, where we got, kicked out. Out. Where we got kicked out. We got kicked out of the hotel. Yeah. From at your bachelor party. Yeah. He? Yeah. 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 You weren't there. Why not? I want to be there. <laughs> you weren't. Yeah. We got to do a boys trip. You had butter slides? Yeah. You like them? Yeah. Are they your new drink? No. You don't yeah. like that one. You said no. You shook your head no. Well, I don't think he just said no. No. <laughs> it's not something you would go to a bar order. Oh no. Why not? I I, I did also get them with you when we went um Yep. 
when that you other time. Well, because it's not easily accessible. That's right. The point. You'd have to say, "Can I get a mudslide?" But instead of, I'll bring my own. Yeah, that. <laughs> can I get butter, butterscotch schnapps, butter, butter shots, whatever it's called. Uh, so after that, that was nice. Then we went shopping uh, to these little shops. Uh, oh, we went to yeah. the Key Lime store. Well, very nice. Lunch, late lunch around. Four? That was very nice. Four o'clock. We o'clock. went to top the tapas. We went to the A and B. Uh, we bar. made it a tapas. Yeah. It was a no. It said tapas style. Tapas style. Yeah, happy, happy hour. hour. Uh, it was a happy hour. In the Spain. And it was that's not the real. Thank tapas. you. Yeah. Tapas would have been more American like, tapas where they're like fried like, fish balls. <laughs> exactly. And you get to pay for it. And bacon clams. No. Tapas aren't oh, you free. didn't have to. Yeah, we had to pay for it. Oh, tapas aren't free, are they? No. Yeah, you had to pay for it. What are you saying? Tapas are free? Tapas. In Spain, they're free. When you, you buy, buy drinks? drinks? Really? Yeah. We had happy hour. We went to happy hour. Okay. And, it, and it said tapas style. Uh, that just means we're, we're giving you happy hour appetizers and they're small. Right, the small appetizers. And they were. And we ordered, what, nine? Eight or nine? You wanted to try and run them off to you? No. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's um, just tell you the, the things we got were our personal preferences. Okay. Yeah. We each were like, I want this and this at least, and this and this. Like, okay, we'll just run them like, off. Felicia, what do you want? Big How much uh, of this Key West trip do you have left? Not that's much. It. Okay, that's pretty much it. Why? What that's it? it? Did you want? Uh, no, no, no there's a little bit more. Well, no, you can go ahead. Uh, you between the, the the reason why I needed Xanax was yeah. uh, it yeah, just tell us that the things that were bothering me were <laughs> Nikki kept yelling at Felicia for little things that I was like, this is not even a thing. This is which day is this? All Mother the days. Geez, all the days. <laughs> But so the biggest one the trip that you are proposing to you, the love of your life. You are also yelling at her. I'm not about yelling. These little it's things. Complaining. Yeah, complaining. complaining about these little things. She That's had like funny. a bag of trash and she threw it in the recycling bin. Just quick, because there was a recycling and a garbage. And Nikki, go, Nikki goes, Felicia, you need to. You threw it in the recycling. And she's like, uh huh. And he goes, like, are you? Do you look before you do? Like. It's the recycling. Do you thing. think before you say yes to marrying me? <laughs> right. It's that kind of, and I was like, oh my god, like I can't. And, but this is just me. Like honestly, like she was just like, ha, ah, whatever, you know? Okay. Like she didn't. So really about it, do you think like, like, this whole this whole Father trip Felicia. this whole trip is my problem. The okay. way it was. It's your it, personal preference. It was my personal problem. preference. Yeah. And it was I will remember this trip oh boy. as an amazing, beautiful trip uh, in in the weeks to come. But for right now, I'm like, I I should have been medicated the whole time. Uh-huh. Because every, it seemed like once a day, Felicia was like, where's my wallet? <laughs> We're like, she, yeah, we all have bigger fish. To and, then, and then I would turn around and then she, she would drop her phone. And then we'd be like, oh, uh, uh. and then Nikki would be like, well, baby. No, no, I give that to her because she she has to get used to having the weight on her. Feet. Yeah, a new weight. Yeah, yeah. But this was before she <laughs> got it. No, she should have spent more time with Carlo. Rosie. Oh, that <laughs> night I did jet ski night. I poured myself two mega pints of uh, made that that uh, term made famous by the Johnny Depp case. Two mega pints oh. of uh, sangria. Uh-huh. And I just sat outside the hotel room, and I just went. Woo, woo. Like when we were when we went shopping, we oh. we were in the one shop for like twenty minutes, and uh-huh. then the last straw when I wanted to leave, all of a sudden Big Deborah just went blah, blah, and dropped a whole display on the floor, and I went, I gotta go, <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> she was looking for her name in this thing for oh, twenty minutes, and then all of a sudden the sign just fell off of this <laughs> way. <laughs> She was looking for so long. I was like, I have to leave. Name souvenirs. And then I left. Oh, I got you. Yeah. yeah. She was like, oh, let me find my name here. Yes. Oh, big oh, oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. And then, um, yeah. So you had, yeah, you had an issue with... It was just, <laughs> yeah, but it's just a me, honestly. Well, I think what it was, was just... the issue with yourself? That you were like, oh, I can't believe you, Chris. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty perfect. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's get them on here and see how they their perspective. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I have no issue with them. Everything makes the trip better. Every second of like every, yeah. even that, to me is like not a big deal. Like it was, it was funny, and it's now a podcast episode. So, so the highlight 
of this trip was definitely... Oh! Yeah. Him leaving his shoes at the hotel. Oh, okay. So that's, that's the thing where you, like, uh, Chris. No. I'm just oh, kidding. Okay. I did that on purpose. Oh. I have a pair of shoes that have served me well for over a year. Okay, Work shoes, them. they're nice. I go, proper send off, I'll leave them in Key West. So, the highlight for sure of this whole Key West trip was you guys jet skiing and almost getting lost like DJ Kyle would. <laughs> what? You in don't remember that? Trans? What do you mean? He was jet skiing in Miami. Oh, and, I mean, dude, uh, we really did. I just kept going straight, got honestly. Lost. Did he? I was yeah. like, they'll find me. It was, it's all on Snapchat. In was the, he Snapchatting while he was watching. Snapchatting while I was lost, saying, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know how to get back. It was at night, too. Oh, no. Yeah. How are the towers? Guys, towers? search it on YouTube. Go ahead. Yeah. After this video, Go just ahead. put in the search bar, DJ Khaled Lost. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. And not his song Lost. Oh, there's a song Lost? No, I don't know. But, yeah. Okay. So... All in all, that was a very interesting Key West trip. That was lovely. Um, Nikki, congratulations. Thank congratulations, you. Nick. I guess... We love our matzo boy. There's one thing that I don't want to talk about. Yeah. Okay. Euthanasia. And it's something that we really shouldn't talk about, but we will. Mm -hmm. No. It happened uh, on the trip, uh -huh. but, uh, but I don't want to talk about it.